All right, ranked battle, and I'm in the Hessian Yang. Still not exactly sure how to say it. How to win? Uh, what I went to say was, uh, "Hello, good people of YouTube." This is not Lord Mountbatten. You can tell because he never had a destroyer game like this on his channel. I'm kidding. I love his channel. So the battle starts with a sort of typical disbursement. I have uh, the other destroyer heading towards C. Got some cruiser support. Battleships seem to be coming my way. And an aircraft carrier flying cover. So that's a nice start. That makes me feel bold. I think, you know what? I'm going to try to take A because at least I got some aircraft carrier cover. The aircraft carrier makes their first mistake here. He goes to C instead of to A, which is obviously the point of contention. Everyone gets a free cap. They get B, we get C. But A is the place of battle. And I have a Richelieu there now too. Okay. So I decide to throw some torpedoes out and see if I hit anything. He's going to turn. So maybe I should have gone a little further ahead. But in case he backs up, I'll send a couple that way. He's just out of range. He needs to come forward for me to really be sure I get those torp hits. But I know this guy's coming around this corner already. And I'm not sure where the destroyer is. That's the one thing that's so far not working to my advantage. I guess what I got to say is like in order to get a solo warrior achievement, you need to be playing against people who make fundamentally bad decisions. People who maybe aren't quite good enough to be in a ranked match, but here they are anyways in the Silver League. But he's turning. I'm not going to chase him though. That's what I decided. See that their destroyer has turned up. He's on the other side of A. So he tried to go up the middle. So far I'm not too impressed on my torpedo work. Do I get this one? No, he's going to miss it too. But now I realize I got two destroyers out in the middle. My battleships aren't protected. And I guess it should say in order for you to get a solo warrior, it's not just the other team that needs to make fundamentally bad decisions, but it's also your team because why are you the only one left? Because your team has unnecessarily died. So that guy pushed super deep with two destroyers on him. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't have much of a chance of hitting him much from here, but... If I can start a fire, that would be awesome. Let's find those destroyers. So before I can blink, suddenly, there's only three of my team left. Our team destroyer has been killed. Our battleship pushed deep and died. And uh, that cruiser seems to have necessarily died with our destroyer over at sea. No, our cruiser died. Their cruiser died at sea. Our cruiser died where our battleship is around G3. There's that destroyer. I don't have deep water torps. I have deep water torps. I don't do anything to a guy like a Sashio, though. So I'm going to have to try to gun him down. And hope that he doesn't have torpedoes ready yet. I'm going to put some smoke up. And we lose sight of each other. I'm not in a good position right now myself, but what do you expect when your battleships are pushing to nowhere? He's chasing after that Massachusetts. He's playing right into the enemy hands. At this point, I'm thinking, well, here's a lost cause game. Smoke screen set. Maybe I could take B, put myself in a position to torpedo that battleship, and avoid those destroyers for now. So here's an example of the destroyer is making fundamental mistakes. This guy's now going to chase after aircraft carriers. They're chasing after me. So he's not supporting his team. And uh, down go one of their battleships. The Massachusetts is done, but so is our battleship over there and our cruiser. Now it's just the aircraft carrier left and myself. It's two on four. 
Well, throw a couple twerps at Richelieu, hope for the best. Try to stay out of his spotting range as best as I can. I've really only done 7,485 damage either. I've not done much of my part. Completely miss him. But we get a second chance here. And look where he's going. He's going into A. So he's turned and now left me that avenue to go straight up into B. So here I'm thinking, well, their destroyer is after our carrier. He's not gone to get A. He's not gone to get C. So as points go, we're still leading in points on the board despite being down by two ships. I'm like, just hope and don't turn in. But now I've made the corner. He hasn't turned in. He's just, I'm just out of his spotting range. And this time I'm going to smoke him. Well, two. 28,000 damage now, though. That's an improvement. He realizes I'm over here somewhere. I think about firing, but what's what are my guns going to do to that guy? The B cap is mine. So it seems. And what's their destroyer doing? They still hasn't taken the caps. Fundamentally bad decisions are being made here. Greedy ones. What's this? They're... I see an airplane suddenly right now. I'm thinking, what? Where did he come from? I hide. I want that cap. Our victory is in sight. How is that even possible? Well, now we know our carrier's dead. So the destroyer succeeded in killing their carrier, and now I'm completely down. It's just me. Engine boost activated. Smoke screen set. He'll go get the cap now. It took him long enough. Still, I have all caps. Where are their ships? What are they doing? Get the guaranteed points, people. And look at this. What? I don't want to risk launching torpedoes and not getting them. So I make the decision now. I'm going to go straight at them. Full speed. The only play I have right now is to try to kill that carrier. Oh my. Oh my, you missed me. Here it comes. Oh, buddy. You went to get the cap. You don't have any support. Devastating strikes. Okay, I got torpedoes coming at me. I got guys shooting at me. Richelieu's coming. Points are now 920 to 616. I'm being pursued by aircraft. I'm shooting them down madly fast. Smoke generator started. He just misses me. I won't make it to see, the guy says. So now I realize I have to try to prevent him from taking. High caliber, that's nice. I'm only up to 77,000. Uh-oh, I'm not going to be able to get the defended ribbons if I can't see him. So fundamentally bad plays have been done. There's two DDs in the board and I haven't seen them in 10 minutes almost. They've only recently captured A. Time is running out for them. And here's where I realize I may have to just win in piecemeal here. Two points. Two points. Nice. We can win, the guy says. I realize, yeah, there's no... I do not want to turn and face him. 976. Plus one if I do, I ask. Yeah, says Big Wave Surfing from Uma Clan. Oh, yeah, come on. 16 more points. There he is. He has no chance of catching me. Wow. 
Solo Warrior Clan uh, rank battle. There you go. That's how it's done, friends. You need two teams that are terrible in order for this to happen. Again, pretty low score. Only 77,000 damage caused, but that's okay because I got the Devastating Strike. I got the Solo Warrior, Heroic Achievement, and I got the High Caliber. Nice work, nice work. Yeah, that puts me definitely at the top. Almost 2,000 base, base XP. If I'd done a little more damage, sure, more. But uh, yeah, Colossus hit him hard, and Richelieu at least got 22,000 on him. Not bad at all. And that was my third time, I think. I only traveled... 66 and a half kilometers, so not bad. It took only 273,000 potential damage. 80 out of 120 capture points. Uh, that's definitely what sealed the deal. All right, thanks for watching. For uh, everybody out there, uh, I'm Joey Only, and mostly I talk weather, but once in a while I like to show off uh, what I can do on, on a warship. Bye for now.